Acid indicators tell us how acidic something is by the colour it turns. There are some things you can use as acid indicators in your supermarket, like this red cabbage. Now the cabbage itself isn't the indicator, it's a colour pigment inside it called flavin, which gives it its purple colour. So before we can start testing things for how acidic they are, we need to extract the colour. And there's two very simple ways to do this. We're going to take a large container, rip off some of the dark purple leaves, and put them in the bowl. Once you've done that, you add some water, add enough to just cover the leaves. And now the fun part, we get to start mashing the leaves. Once you think you've extracted enough colour, you can sieve your solution through a sieve. You see that intense purple? That's at least what you're aiming for. You can also extract the colour by boiling the cabbage in a pot or using a blender. So now we're ready to start testing things for how acidic they are. I've set up a number of different containers. Make sure they're see-through so that you can see the colour change. And I'm going to add some indicator solution to each of these. This, this is going to be our control. This is what scientists use to compare their results with something that's unchanged. So to this one, let's add something that we know is acidic, like vinegar. Vinegar is also called acetic acid or ethanoic acid. And so if we add just a little bit, we should see, look at that, it's turned pink. So the indicator turns pink when there are acids in it. So the opposite of something that is an acid is called a base. A lot of bases are in our cleaning products so if we add something like bleach to this one, it turns green. So how about some fizzy juice? That's definitely acidic. And last, let's try some ketchup. See that's turned pink as well. Not quite as pink as the others, but I think that's slightly to do with the red colour. So you can see that these foods are acidic. Um, and there's lots of different foods that you can test and they'll turn different colours depending on how acidic they are. So what is it that makes something an acid or a base? It's all to do with water. This is a water molecule. Sometimes water molecules split up into two fragments called ions. This is an H plus ion and this is an OH minus ion. Now, if there's the same number of these two ions, the solution is neutral, which is what water is. Um, but if there's more H plus ions than there are OH ones, um, it's an acid. On the other hand, if there were more OH minus ions than there were H plus ions, it would be a base, and we turn the indicator this color. So now you know the chemistry, and you know the method, why not try out this experiment for yourselves at home? And let us know on our Facebook page how you get on.